Welcome back to this mini series on words and how they affect our lives. Today, let's talk a little about the words we listen to. What are you allowing in? Uh, Proverbs 4.23 says, Guard your heart because it is the source of life. Well, that's powerful. So I'll ask again, what are you allowing in? From the news, from the relationships around you, from what you are reading, what are you watching? What are you letting people tell you? Are you constantly exposed to words that are negative? Words that are toxic? Words that tear you down? Or are you making the conscious effort to turn down the volume on all that and amplify the positive, the ones that build you up, the ones that make you smarter, better? Do you just allow people to send you anything? News about evil, death, wickedness of men, sickness, and so on and so forth, and you find yourself pondering on those things. You know there are some people that really enjoy spreading bad news. <laughs> Sorry, you can't be in my circle. There's so much else I can hear. I want to hear about the good things that men are doing. Do you know a lot of people are doing a lot of good in the world? I want to hear about that. I want to hear about the good deeds you have done. I want to hear about the good deeds God has done in your life. What are your testimonies? Please tell me that instead. I am guarding my heart with all diligence. And why is it important to do this? Because you are what you surround yourself with. You are what you hear all the time. You are what you are watching because these things are being, like we said in the previous videos, they are being written down and engraved in your heart, in your soul. And your actions therefore will follow those things.